Hello, my name is David Cano Mejia. I am a solutions consultant with Trimec. And today we're going to be taking a look at how to navigate the web browser and how to understand the 3D experience platform a little bit better. Basically, once you get the link to join the platform, what do you do? So let's jump in and take a look. So depending on the roles that might have been assigned to you, things might look a little bit different. But likely the first thing you're going to see is something like this. This page is meant to give you a little bit of an introduction, which you can read through if you like. However, what I am really interested in is this second tab. Here at the top, if we click on the Learn the Experience tab, I think that this is a great resource. There are several introductory videos in here explaining different areas and applications of the platform. If you are new to all this on your own, I would definitely recommend you spend the 10 minutes or so watching these videos. They can be really helpful, or you can just continue watching this video as we'll be covering a lot of the same topics. Let's start by talking about 3D dashboards. You can think of 3D dashboards as your own customizable page that you can use to interact with the platform. If I look up here, it actually tells me which dashboard I am in, which is my first dashboard. If we want to access additional dashboards, we can click on this icon to access the dashboard list. This will show you all of your dashboards. A lot of the roles that can be assigned to you come with a default dashboard to help you get started. So for example, if the 3D creator role is assigned to you, you might want to check out this 3D creator dashboard. A dashboard can have multiple tabs. If we look here, here we have a tab for our design app, one for accessing our data, looking at our assigned tasks, and one for interacting with the communities within our company. You can use this default dashboard as a starting point and customize it to your liking. If we want to add a new tab, we click on this plus sign. And then to rename it, we click on the drop down arrow, go to rename, and let's give it a name. Now we have a blank tab. To this, we can add any widgets we would like. To access these widgets, we have to go to this compass icon. If I click on the compass, I see a list of all the different roles that have been assigned to me. If you scroll down, you will see a list of all the apps that you will have access to. The ones we are interested in, in this case, are the ones with a little arrow in the top right corner. These are widgets we can add to our dashboard. As an example, let's say we are new to the platform and we want to learn more. I would recommend checking out the 3D Learn app. I can simply click and drag it onto my dashboard. I can resize it as needed. And I can add any other widgets that I would like to customize it for exactly what I want. One last thing that I want to show you is how you can create a dashboard from scratch. To do so, I can go back to my dashboard list and click on this plus sign. Give your dashboard a name. And then from here, we can rename our tabs. We can add any widgets that we would like to really make it our own. Again, resizing them as we would want. And I'm going to create one more tab here, maybe for my communities. And add the widget there. but I promise that it's pretty easy to get started and it's really nice that we have the ability to customize it to meet our specific needs. Mm -hmm.